I'm Nil Kumar sharing with you a very popular test question based on probability. The question here is, there are 30 students in a class. What is the probability that at least two students share the same birthday? I would like you to pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the key word here is, at least two students share the same birthday. So this condition, at least two, should share. So whenever you get this kind of a statement, then think about complement of a function. So these two things go together. So we could reframe our question and find probability that no two people have the same birthdays, right? So will define probability of event A as uh, no two persons have same birthday. In that case, probability of the complement will be at least two it could be more also right at least two share the same birthday is that clear so that is how whenever you read about at least two you should think about complement, right? So that becomes very simple, uh, you know, link between the two and very important one. So now in a year, we have 365 days. So, you know, we have 365 days in a year. So what is the sample space for us? So the sample space for us is that each of these 30 students could select any one of these 365 days correct so we have 365 days can be selected by the first student second also has choice of all 365 days perfect so in the sample space it is 365 to the power of 30 so that becomes the sample space now when we talk about no two persons have the same birthday in that case the favorable event is what? If the first person selects, the first person has a choice of 365 days, correct? On Now, once one day is selected, the other person has only 364 days to go, and then it is 363. So what we see is that for all the 30 persons, it reduces, right? So... So ultimately, we will have, which could be seen as, we have only 30 people. So out of 365 days, I mean 365 days, 30 days can be selected. Correct? So we have, we have choice which will be selected by, so this is the first person. This is the second person. And then at the end, we'll have the 30th person. So only 30 days will be selected out of 365. And therefore, the probability for no two persons having same birthday will be favorable, which is 365 P30 over 365 to the power of 30, right? So that becomes the probability for selecting two persons that have, I mean, no two persons having the same birthday. Perfect. Now what we are looking for is the complement of this, correct? So what is the probability that at least two share the same birthday? Now let's look into that. So that should be probability of the complement is 1 minus this property.
is that clear so that is how we could actually solve this particular question right so let's calculate this answer so what we get here is 365 p30 divided by 365 to the power of 30 which is equal to so in the first case this is equal to 0 0.293 let's say 7 right i'm rounding it and here this probability that at least two share the same birthday will be 1 minus 0 0.2937 and that is equal to so let's take away 1 from here so it is 0 0.7063 right so it's a pretty high percentage so it is about 70.63 percent do you see that part the important thing here to understand is that whenever we are looking for at least two for the same thing we could very easily use the concept of complementary events as you've done here i hope that is easily understandable feel free to write your comments and share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that will be great thanks for watching and all the best